find the altitude of an equilateral triangle whose perimeter is 300. This is an equilateral triangle, they say that. So all sides must be equal. Actually gives us the perimeter first of all. They give us that the perimeter is 300. So what should each of the sides be equal to? Must be 100, isn't it? Because they must be equal. 300 divided by 3 is 100. So they each, each must have a side length of 100. The question is, find the altitude. Altitude is height, guys. So make sure you know what that definition is. So I'm going to call this height the H. That's my pronumeral that I'm going to be looking for. You can see that it, this half of an equilateral triangle is a right angle. Okay. Now if it's equilateral, you can kind of, what you can do is if you draw a perpendicular line going down like that, this length is equal to this length. Because this whole length is 100, this must be 50, this must also be 50. So you can now look at this right angle triangle and we've got one of the adjacent sides, we've got the hypotenuse, so now we can solve for H. H squared plus 50 squared is 100 squared. Move the 50 squared over, square root, calculate, and to one decimal place, it's 86.6. So we've got the answer. Again, just using um, Pythagoras' theorem. But you've got to be able to um, identify from the question that this is an equilateral triangle, so all sides are equal. So you make sure you identify that first. The perpendicular sides of a right angle triangle have lengths in the ratio 5 to 12. So that's just why they put 5x and 12x. It's not going to be exactly 5 and 12 the length. It's in the ratio of 5 to 12. So the sides might be 5 times 2 and 12 times 2 or 5 times 5 and 12 times 5, depending on what x is. Okay, so make sure you don't think that these are the sides. Those are the ratios. So that's why I'm saying it's 5x and 12x. And it's asking us to find the length of the sides if the perimeter is 450. So like the previous question, they give us what the perimeter is. It's 450. The question is, find the length of the sides. So we have to find what this length is, this length is, and this length is, without any pronumerals. Now, first of all, guys, we don't have the hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse going to be? You can just use the Pythagoras theorem though, because that's a right angle triangle. Don't worry too much about the x. x is just the proportion that we're going to be using. So, to find the hypotenuse, assume that this side is 5 and this side is 12. To find the third ratio here, we'll use the Pythagoras theorem. So don't worry about the x for a moment. I'm just going to go 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is, let's call this side b h. h for hypotenuse. So it's going to be h squared. h squared is, 5 squared is 25, and 12 squared is 144, which is equal to 169, isn't it? So if h squared is 169, h is root 169, which gives 13. So h is 13. So h here, I'm going to replace it with, not 13, but 13x. Okay, because this 13 indicates, I don't know why that's a squiggly line there, um, that 13 indicates that this side to this side to this side is in the ratio 5 to 12 as given. So this to this is 5 to 12 to 13. So now we know the third side, so we can make that kind of ratio. Okay, so therefore this is not 13, it must be 13x. Because they give you the perimeter is 450, I'm going to say that 5x plus 12x plus 13x, which I've just found, is equal to 450. And these are like terms, aren't they? So add them up, add up your coefficients, that's 30. So 30x is 450. Divide both sides by 30 to get just x. So x would be 450 divided by 30, which is 15. So we've got x. So now we can find the individual sides. First of all, 5x. 5x, x is 15, so 5 times 15 is 75. So this side is 75 centimetres. And then now 12x, we know that x is 15, so substitute 15 to x, so 12 times 15 is 180. So this length is 180 centimetres. Okay? 
And then the third side is 13x, so we do 13 times 15, which gives you 195 centimeters. So we've got the three sides, and that's what we want. That's the question, find the length of the side. So we've just found that, okay? So this question took a little bit more time and a little bit more thinking, but hopefully you get the gist of it. Very repetitive things that we're using. And you can see that Pythagoras theorem is very commonly used, yeah?